many months later. How naive of me to think that we were going to complete this in just a couple of months. It took exactly one year. To this day, uh, this uh, on February 18th, uh, 2017, the first episode of Sino came out. And uh, today, on February 18th, 2018, I'm putting an end uh, to the series because, well, we accomplished quite a bit. And uh, this episode is going to be jam-packed with uh, cinematics. It's going to be a real treat for your eyes. But before we get into the nitty-gritty of this episode, I do want to... Uh, tell you that if you haven't seen the previous episode, episode 30, uh, which happened on Flux's channel, you should definitely go take a look at that because there's going to be some spoilers here. So uh, you can pause this video, you can click the link in the description if you haven't yet, or I'm sure it's going to pop up on the top right corner of the screen. Go watch that. It's an amazing episode. He finished his uh, resort uh, on you know the other side of the atoll that you can't see right now. Uh, so that, you know, in case you haven't seen it, I'm not spoiling you. But uh, yeah, definitely recommend it. And uh, we're just going to go dive into this uh, episode. By the way, the format um, for this episode, what I had in mind is to pretty much go through some of the uh, projects. I mean, pretty much most of the projects, the significant ones at least, that we've been working on since uh, this series started. And uh, they're somewhat in a chronological order. Uh, I don't know why I have a hard time saying that word, but... Uh, we're starting off here on uh, this corner of the, of the map where the very first building, which is the one you're looking at right now, uh, was first uh, built, which is the uh, power station. Uh, I remember when, when when I was working on this, look, those farms in the back weren't there, and it was just like a big, thick, undetailed forest. Uh, however, this, uh, this build still stands out. And actually, and this is something that I wanted to point out, because uh, you might see a trend happening, you know, across uh, these many episodes, uh, sorry, this many clips, which is uh, some sort of progression in the style uh, of me building this. Um, in certain areas, a bit more detail than others, but uh, it's definitely, you can see like the assets that I, that I started using, you know, forever ago and uh, as new stuff came up in the workshop and I adopted it and tools, you know, improved, it just uh, made everything look a little bit nicer in general, I think, and made my job a lot easier as well. Um, before I go into, you know, looking at all these builds, while you look at all these builds anyways, um, I do want to uh, take this time to, to thank some people, because you're going to be seeing uh, some elements uh, that were created by, uh, well, asset creators uh, that were kind enough to dedicate some of their time for uh, see new specific assets and uh, I have a quick list here uh, King Leno uh, thank you so much you uh, he, he basically <laughs> created the um, the mosque for Sinu and uh, the city fuel supply gas stations you're gonna see them in, in later clips I promise you they're showcased in it in many parts of this uh, of this project also uh, that Evan who put together uh, some uh, fuel trucks as well as the bollards that I'm using pretty much everywhere in this uh, in this city. And uh, he also uh, created, the, the last thing that he created only a few episodes ago is a massive water tank that uh, that really, really looks awesome. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be using it in other projects as well. Uh, also, Vasmer, who created uh, a whole bunch of uh, airport-related assets that I'm going to be using uh, in future projects, absolutely for sure. Um, and uh, also V Schoolhausen, which uh, I, I mentioned many, many times, he created flying senior planes, which you will also see <laughs> in just a few seconds. I, I, I took the, the, the liberty to get some really close up angles uh, from those planes. And uh, of course, Flux, who actually built a whole island uh, and uh, on episode 15 and episode 30. So uh, if you haven't, for whatever reason, if you haven't seen those, uh, go check them out. He hasn't been posting uh, many videos lately, but uh, those are up there and they're pretty awesome. So uh, thank you guys for, for that. I'm going to include the links uh, in the description of this video to their respective workshop, uh, you know, profiles as well as their YouTube channels, uh, depending on, you know, the type of person that <laughs> that I just named. Um, but uh, yeah, that's... Uh, 
yeah, I, I, I'm really, really thankful for all the work that they've been uh, doing uh, and helping me come up with this uh, crazy project. And um, let's just uh, move on. I have a whole bunch of things here that I want to talk about. Um, the uh, I'm sure I'm going to get this question. Like, I'm, am I going to share the save game from this uh, from this project? The answer is yes, I am. Now. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, this, I'm literally recording this like less than 48 hours before this video goes out. And uh, sharing saves on, just sharing anything on the workshop takes an, an, an enormous effort. So if uh, by the time of this episode is out, uh, the save is not, um, you should look in the description of this video. If, if it's out, I'm going to put it there. Uh, I'm probably also going to pin a comment with the links uh, so that uh, it's the first comment that shows up underneath this video. If that's not the case, please come back, uh, I don't know, maybe in like a week or so. Uh, and uh, you can also follow me on on, on Steam. Uh, yeah, just subscribe to my Steam uh, workshop profile. I don't know what the right wording for that is, but uh, you, you get the idea. Uh, I'm definitely going to upload that. Uh, I think that... Um, so in order to run the save and have it look the way it does, uh, there's a lot of like manual files I need to like edit, um, you know, like uh, picture profiles and stuff like that. So what's likely going to happen is in the description of that very save, uh, just read the description. <laughs> I know no one reads the description, but uh, if you want to get, I'm, I'm not going to answer questions that are already answered in the description of this video. I, that happens so much. Uh, all the time and, and all the saves that I uploaded and collections that I uploaded, like everything is mostly like all the frequently asked questions are already in the description. So just read and you'll get answers immediately instead of waiting for me to actually reply to you. Just, uh, you know, a little piece of advice there. Um, but uh, it's likely that I'm going to have to link some files from my website. So uh, yeah, all that will be explained properly in the description of the save game and links will be provided for you to do that if you're interested in just uh, taking a look at how you know how this uh, how the city actually plays in real life and uh, you, you you're gonna need a, a an okay computer to say the least uh, I would not recommend running this without uh, at least 16 to 24 gigs of RAM at the minimum. Uh, I don't I don't think all these assets fit in uh, 8 gigs. They might, but they might. Uh, I don't know. There might be some like disk caching, like swapping thing. I I, I, I mean, try it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter uh, if it if it doesn't work. It just won't work. You won't destroy your computer. Uh, and also, uh, if you're interested, because like some of these clips happen a little bit too fast. So what I did as well, and I'm going to include in the link of the this uh, very video is just uh, an album with over 130 screenshots, <laughs> like very like close-ups, like you know, just large scale uh, screenshots of the of the many islands and each uh, individual island as well. So uh, if you want to see things in greater detail, please uh, make sure to check a look at that after this video is over. And uh, and I know I usually say this at the beginning, at the end of the video, sorry, uh, which is uh, if you enjoy this series so far, please just make this video not full screen for a moment if you're watching full screen and go hit the like button, uh, which uh, will help a lot uh, because YouTube loves likes and the more likes you give it, you know, the more it promotes it to other people. So uh, that's uh, very, very much appreciated. All right. So that's... Uh what else? Yeah, no, that's. I think that's it from my my list here of things that I did like specifically wanted to remember. I think there were more things, but I could, I didn't I didn't write it down. So maybe I'll remember them uh, in just a few seconds as I keep rambling about all the things that we built. So uh, by the way, this is the sort of the industrial district. Uh, I don't know if I think I mentioned that I did this in chronological order, somewhat, not exactly, but. Um, yeah, this uh, this uh, part right here, this fishing port, is one of the biggest harbors in uh, the city. And uh, I have some updates from Create Cloud, thank you. Um, but uh, it's, uh, you know, looking at this, there's so many things that I would tweak and, and adjust. Like, I love how these, like, inner streets work, but I feel like the back of some of these buildings could use a little bit more love. And... Uh, at the time when, when I built this, like the prop limit wasn't an issue. By the way, we still have 500 or so props that we can use. As I, I, I got some tweets from people saying, 
that I should like max that out. <laughs> Um, there's still room for, for, for more props. Uh, I don't know if I feel like adding more, but, um, definitely, definitely room for improvement. And, you know, just looking at some of the older neighborhoods, like the ones that you see on the, on the bottom left corner of the screen now, it's just changed. But, um, I, I think I spent a lot more time detailing those than the ones that I've been doing recently. Uh, the ones that I'm mostly copying and pasting. Uh, yet the ones that I've been doing quickly are actually, in my opinion, a little bit nicer. Uh, they have less props, but they're more efficient with the prop usage. And uh, definitely takes much, much less time uh, to do them compared to the other ones. But uh, it's uh, really interesting to see. If you, if you go back to like the first clips of this video, you can do that later. Um, the ones, uh, the, the neighborhood that's like right by the power station, actually you can kind of see it in the back over there. Um, they're so like, they, they have so many props, but they look so in detail that it's kind of fascinating how much you can achieve with so little if you just are efficient with it. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, by the way, this area right here is, uh, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite part of the island, but it's like one of my favorites. This whole farmland here, uh, like I always love taking pictures of this and like whenever I'm like trying to think for ideas and like I'm roaming around the city, which happens a lot. Uh, you know, every time I start an episode, I just like go with the camera and just look at everything over and over again. I mean, that's a thing I do for fun. Uh, and I'm sure many of you do that as well. Uh, this is uh, usually one of the areas that I come in because again, it's like, it doesn't have a ton of detail as you can see, it's just very few props. But uh, they all came together so nicely. Plus this road with all the patchwork, um, I don't know, it just looks incredibly realistic to me. And, and I, I definitely come back to, to that. Like the, the, shade, the different shades of, of green from the crops and all that, I think they work well, uh, you know, very well actually. And, uh, oh, okay, here it is, the city fuel supply. This is uh, one of uh, King Lando's custom assets foreseen. I've seen people use these gas stations and many, many random projects that are totally unrelated to Sinu, but it's kind of fascinating. Uh, and it's a great asset. It looks it looks awesome. It's like very vintage-y. Um, and it's very, also looks very similar to the real Sinu, by the way, um, which uh, you can find on, on Google Maps. You can find some imagery for that. That's uh, mostly where, where they got the images from. And you can see the two little uh, fuel trucks parked in the back. You're gonna see those again because uh, I spread them all over the city. Those uh, were by that Evan. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, yeah. So in some of these clips, <laughs> unfortunately, because I, I had to record this, uh, the, all these cinematics in, in multiple days because, you know, it takes forever to actually record this. And, uh, you know, this is one of the reasons why I, I was gonna do a little bit of build on, on this uh, episode. Uh, there's uh, a few areas that I wanted to like redo. Uh, and I was like looking at the calendar. Um, I was like, no, there, there, I have no time for that. I really, I mean, why don't, why don't I do just cinematics and, uh, and then we'll, we'll go through everything. And as I was doing the cinematics, I, I realized that it would take a lot less time if I actually built something on this episode, but uh, I do like cinematics. Uh, lately, given the very little time that I have, um, I mean, I'm subscribed to like many other CD Skylines, uh, channels. Um, but I tend to just skip to the cinematics because I, I really can't, unless I see something like amazing that I like, oh, how, do, how did he do this? Then maybe I'll go through the, you know, the time-lapse uh, time section of their episodes. But for the most part, I'm just skipping straight to cinematics. And um, that's, I mean, that's what I enjoy the most from, from these episodes. So I figured, hey, let's do like a big eye candy thing. And uh, well, I, I guess this is it. So you can let me know in the comments uh, if it worked. Now, um, I keep going on weird tangents, uh, but um, what I was saying is that since I recorded this in multiple days, uh, sometimes when I start recording, I forget, because there's like a whole checklist of things I need to do uh, before uh, you start any episode of CNU or any other City Skylines project uh, on my channel. I don't know how many of you do this, but um, there's settings that are reset every time you start the game, no matter what. One of them is uh, Roads United. And I keep forgetting sometimes to change the skin. From, so right now you can see like those dashed lines uh, on the shoulder, there should be like a solid line connecting all of them. And uh, there isn't because I forgot to switch to the European theme 
for uh, Road to United. So the decals that I manually added are not are just like they're not really doing much of anything. You probably didn't. Many of you probably didn't even realize that until I'm pointing it out. But um, I'm gonna do my best to to not have that problem again in the future. Even though I'm probably going to do that many many times over. Now this is uh, what Flux uh, was working on. This is the resort. It, it looks awesome, like that golf. I know the the, the shade, he was like concerned about the shade of the green uh, for all these, uh, I think there's like nine holes on that golf course. If you look at any, and I mentioned this back when I did Cedar Valley, uh, which was my very first City Skyline series, if you haven't seen that, <laughs> don't, uh, it's not that great now. <laughs> it doesn't hold up to this, but uh, if you um, if you look at you know any Google Maps imagery in, especially in LA. I was uh, at the Griffith uh, Observatory the other day and they have some satellite imagery from uh, Los Angeles and you can clearly see where there's golf courses because there's like a shade of like radioactive green that just stands out a lot. Um, so he was concerned about, you know, this uh, golf assets being, he, he talked about this in this episode. I'm gonna repeat everything he said, but he was concerned about that. He messaged me, he's like, hey, like this is the best one I was able to find. I'm like, that is perfect. That totally blends in with uh, what's around and hopefully you'll see that again. There you go. Um, I think there's a, a beautiful contrast between the darker trees and foliage and vegetation and the actual perfectly manicured golf course. Uh, yeah, golf courses, not golf carts. Um, so I thought it was great, especially when you look at, at this island from above. I think there's another clip coming up that shows uh, everything, how everything sort of looks. Uh, and of course, again, there's going to be many, many screenshots in, in the list. But uh, yeah, here you go. It's uh, actually now this is not from above. This is still from the side, but um, I just thought it fit perfectly. In fact, I think these are the very same assets that I used in Cedar Valley. So uh, I, I, I approve, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, oh, one thing to notice, you can see that right there in the back, there's like a massive conga line of ships. You can kind of see it on this clip as well. All of these ships, like, I don't know what Flux did, uh, but after receiving the save back, uh, back from him, I mean, I saw this already in his computer Well, he was sending me screenshots before he released the episode. I don't know what the hell happened. Um, you know, whenever we s swap saves and we have to, like, go through all these settings and everything like that, it, it really, sometimes it just breaks things and there's no... No, no, yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, at first, uh, we thought it was AVO, uh, the Advanced Vehicle Options Mode, by the way. That uh, doesn't seem to be the case. I reset the, the traffic, uh, like cleared all the traffic with um, the Traffic Manager mod. That didn't help either. So, you know, I didn't look too much into it simply because I'm pretty much done with this series, but <laughs> um, I really have no idea what's broken. Uh, planes are working fine for the most part. Um, you know, aside from the fact that they all land, there's like three planes landing at the same time. But uh, other than that, um, they work. They work great. Uh, and uh, I would say that the airport is going back to my original comment. I think the airport is probably my favorite part of this uh, Hoyle Island. is is the most detailed uh, place. It looks great from above, which usually things don't look as amazing. Uh, from above in city skylines because of the LODs and all that, especially for the trees. The trees look disgusting from a distance. Um, but this airport, I think, came out great. It works magnificently. The planes uh, land and take off from the same runway in different directions. It's just, it's perfect. I couldn't ask for a better uh, airport. And um, all the signage and, 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 and the props, well, actually, some of the props are mistakenly placed there, like that one. I think the 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 tug on this plane or the the other flight scene one, just it's not. I think it's like in reverse. I thought I fixed that, but and and I got a lot of comments for that. Uh, I try to be as realistic as possible, but I guess uh, you know it wasn't enough. Now uh, these flight scene planes that uh, Beast Google uh, Housen put together. Um, I want to make a quick parenthesis here. There is a chance because uh, Jay. AKA B school house and we it's just easier to say Jay that's why I'm 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 I'm, I'm saying this but uh, we talked about uh, the possibility of doing a, a, a another project he you know doing like a guest episode similar to what Flux did uh, problem is that we didn't have time uh, however 
One thing that we've been talking about is uh, the possibility of maybe doing a live stream where he actually hosted a live stream. I joined him as a co-host and he would work on a project on this island. So thing is right now, as, as you know, at the time this video, by the time this video comes out there, he, I don't think he has, uh, you know, enough upload bandwidth for, for a live stream, but um, stay tuned because uh, this may not be the last episode of Sinu. Uh, you'll have to um, um, well follow me on social media and all those uh, places, and or maybe subscribe to his channel, so that uh, you can see um, if we actually ever going to do that. But uh, that that would be really cool if we can pull that off, because uh, uh, the project that we've been talking about is it's kind of unique. I don't think anyone has done that in CDs yet, and I think if we can pull it off, it'll be pretty interesting. Uh, right, so moving on to this uh, other area of the city, uh, this uh, little retreat. I remember doing this. This one is also uh, one of my favorites, especially because everything around it, like the whole farmland around this uh, complex, uh, it just it just looks so nice. It's it's a nice backdrop to this ultra detailed uh, area, and uh, you know by ultra detail I mean like it's not like like the the patch of grass is like pretty empty but it looks good sometimes in cities when, when you have like a patch of empty grass it just doesn't look great but in this case i think it does and that uh little beach access with the wooden uh that wooden deck that kind of zigzags throughout the jungle leading to all these umbrellas and chairs by the coast i wish i could have added those like foamy decals everywhere on every single coast because they do look amazing those are by ironix if i'm not mistaken they do look great. They make the beach look significantly more realistic. However, props, uh, those are props. So adding those, it's uh, kind of a pain. Uh, I mean, you're restricting yourself to detailing less <laughs> uh, in other areas. Uh, this was another crazy idea here. All these like planes in the, the artificial reef. I remember this episode, uh, all these like dead planes in the bottom of the ocean. This is usually something they do, by the way. It's not like a thing I came up with, but uh, I just thought it was such a cool idea. <laughs> I think it would have been nicer if uh, the water was a little bit more transparent, I guess. So, I'm, I mean, I'm still like, after you know a year working on this project, I'm still in the fence about the color of the water. It's like way too bluey. Um, I couldn't I really couldn't tone that down in, uh, you know, in the editor or or the uh, map theme. Or uh, I tried many, many combinations of things, but uh, if I made the water look more realistic, it would like alter everything else and uh, and not in a good way. So you know, it's like okay, I'll just just leave it like that. I mean, if if you see pictures of the Maldives in general or like very like tropical looking islands, they do look like super bright and saturated. So it's not like totally off, but I think. I would just tone it down like a little bit uh, and I think it would look much, much better. Well, you know, those are the limitations of the game, I guess. Uh, this shot looks actually kind of cool, if I do say so myself. Uh, I love how this like uh, fueling pie, uh, pier thing came out. Uh, it's, again, there's not a million different props and details in here, but there's just enough details that makes it look like realistic, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's uh, one little corner of this uh, of this build. Uh, you're gonna see it in just a second, where you know there's the marks on the ground for one of these tanks, as uh, if they were starting to construct them and they never finished. This this coming up right here on the left of your screen. I, I love how that came out and just like all the overgrown grass around it and the rubble from like all the materials that they brought in, but they never actually used or at least some of them. Uh, I just think that that looks awesome pretty happy with how that came out. Now, uh, I want to take this last uh, couple minutes uh, from this episode to talk about two things. Uh, first, future projects. So I'm already working on the next project, even though I get suggestions on what to do all the time. And many of, the, of those suggestions are actually really good. And I took a lot of ideas from that. But uh, the next two projects are pretty much already defined. And uh, yes, I'm saying two projects because well, I'm not going to be working on two projects simultaneously, um, but I am going to work on a <laughs> hopefully like really small project. Like <laughs> that's what I said about Sinu at the beginning of the episode. Uh, this one is like significantly smaller than Sinu, 
I hope it doesn't take a year to do this like one thing I'm thinking of. Um, I don't think it will, but um, I'm aiming for like even like two or three episodes, maybe. I uh, already have uh, the intro kind of put together, uh, music chosen. I haven't you know recorded anything yet, but uh, I kind of have the collection pretty much ready and uh, the ideas and the references, all that is, is, has, you know, all these requirements have been gathered. Um, and uh, what I want, what I want to mention is that there might be a gap between this very last episode of Sinu and then and the first episode of the next, uh, the next series, because I'm still, you know, I didn't have actually time to to start working on the thing yet. And I'm also sitting on quite a bit of footage that uh, hasn't yet been released. So uh, stay tuned for that as well, because it's gonna blow your mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna do sound effects anymore on my mic, but. Trust me, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, now, final thoughts on Sinu before I go. Uh, as you can hear from all the things that I've been saying, I'm pretty uh, happy with just the overall result, the amount of work that we did, the level of detail that we achieved in certain areas more than others, of course. Uh, like I said, there's always room for improvement. Uh, could I keep working on, would I, would I keep working on this project for, you know, for more time, absolutely. Yeah, there's still lots, lots of things to do, and lots of things to to tweak and improve and redo for the most part. Because uh, you know, every time new assets come out, you definitely want to redo everything. But uh, you know, you only have so much time, and and your inspiration lasts so long. I can't be. I feel like I reached a peak where I'm like, uh, I don't really feel like, you know, innovating even more on Sinu because then other areas start to like not match previously built areas and you want some co cohesiveness if if that's even a word uh, between all the different uh, uh, parts of this uh, of this build so uh, you know I think this is a nice uh, a nice way to to put an end to this and if you want to you know continue this project for whatever reason you are more than welcome to do so by getting the save and you know you can even record videos if you want just to point to this one or something uh if, if you if you if you can but uh that's uh, pretty much a wrap for sinu and uh, if you haven't yet again i'm encouraging you to go click the like button and uh, also the subscribe button if you haven't yet that way you know immediately uh, the next time i post a video most likely my next uh, brand new series i'm gonna let you now enjoy some cinematics to the tune uh, of the unedited sinu theme but that's pretty much it thank you all for watching and hope to see you in the next one.